Good morning. Welcome to the uh, Caddisfly fly fishing blog. We're going to do some uh, spring trout stuff. Got a little 2457 hook in here. Now this is a size 10 and this is a uh, bluing olive emerger so normally we're going to tie this 16s and 18s but you're not going to be able to see it so that's why we're tying them so big. What I'm doing here is combing out some antron and then I'm going to thin this down for the tail. This is going to be the shuck of the emerging fly. This is a little bluing olive emerger. I'm going to come up, tie it in up near the head, and run that all the way under the body. And the reason I do that is to keep the symmetry. Okay, just leave that tail in place. Next, we've got a goose, or actually, it's a turkey quill. And this is dyed, uh, it's hairline, it's dyed bluing olive. We'll take one strand of that. And this is uh, pretty thin stuff, so I'm going to tie that just the tip of that in. Come back all the way to the tail, don't leave any gaps. Okay, so you grab your hackle pliers on your uh, turkey by it and just start wrapping this around. This is a gentle material, so you do not want to bang it off the point of the hook. Once it's wrapped it's pretty durable and if you want to increase the durability you can add a small and when I say small I mean very small amount of um, zap a gap underneath there. Very light amount so it doesn't come through. You want to keep the segmentation and these little barbules that come off of the flat portion of the turkey quill. You don't want to map those down. Next, we're going to tie in some CDC. I'm using two feathers. The puffs are a little bit better than your standard CDC. <clears throat> we're going to tie, I'm going to clip this off and tie the base in. These are regular CDC feathers, regular, not the puffs. Not the puffs. These are just regular old CDC and this is what I have, so this is what I use. Okay, okay I'm going to leave that hang off the back there. Next, I've got some peacock curl, probably you know because of the size of fly I'm using several strands. On your smaller flies, two or three will be plenty. I'm going to make a loop and create a chenille to create the thorax. Okay, so the thread's in there, peacock's all pulled down. I'm going to clip this to get it out of the way and I'm going to spin this makes a very, very durable body material. This fly seems like it'd be pretty um, frail, but I think you would be surprised how many fish um, this thing will take before it needs to be replaced. The thing about this fly is you can fish it in the surface film off the back of a dry fly or just kind of a controlled drift. I really like to fish it surprisingly off of uh, a heavy fly as a point fly or a dropper. It does very well in that capacity. So now I'm going to take this CDC, pull it over the front, a couple wraps to secure that, stand it up, a couple wraps in front. Put a whip finish. I apologize for the shaky hands. I had a huge cup of coffee this morning. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this. This is the shuck. You want this to be about as long as mid abdomen or mid thorax to the back of the abdomen. And then I will take this material and cut it off to a little fluff ball. And there you have a uh, bluing olive CDC emerger.